Welcome to another training session of the Siemens TIA board. In this session we will see how we can use PID compact command in programming to control a process web. In today's tutorial we will see how we can use PID controller to control the tank level. Let's start today's tutorial. Before starting today's tutorial, I request you guys to please subscribe to my YouTube channel to, to stay connected. As you can see that in OV1 block, I have used normal and scalex command to scale the raw values coming from the level sensor of the tank. Scale tank level value is between 0 to 100%. If you want to learn how to scale the analog values, tutorial link is in the description box. IW30 is analog input word coming from the level sensor and the scale tank level values will be stored in the empty tank. To use the PID command, first we will add a cyclic interrupt block OB30. This block will be called after a predefined interval of the time mentioned in its properties. We can drag and drop the PID compact command on the ladder watching. Input is analog value coming from a data register or data block, like in our case it is a scale tank level in empty 10 memory world. Input peripheral is analog input we can assign PLC, analog input directly to the PID command using this input. We will use MD100 as a set point for the tank level. PID command will try to maintain the tank level as per MD100 value. MD10, which is a scale tank level, can be used as analog input. And we can use QW30 output as a peripheral output. And this will be the input of the actuator valve, which is controlling the flow of the inlet water. Now we can open the configuration window of the PID controller to set up the control parameters of the PID controller. Here we can set the controller type and we have a list of the controllers to choose from. We will remain the general purpose controller and will change its mode to automatic. From the input and output menu we can set the input and output of the controller if it is from the input from a register or, or from a peripheral input. Last thing is PID parameters. Here we have two options in the PID command. Number one, we can set a PID control parameters manually or we can auto tune the controller. I am entering manual values for the PID controller as I have tested before this and I know the best suitable value for this application. Now all settings are done and we can run the simulator and see if everything is working. As you can see that the tank level set point is zero and so the PAD control output is also zero. Now we will open the factory I.O. and connect our PLC simulator with it. If we open the driver setting menu, you can see that the tank fill level sensor is IW30 volt and tank fill valve is connected at QW30 volt.
from the configuration menu we can change the addresses of inputs and output words and we can also change their length so that we can use them as single or double words. Coming back to the PID controller, we will open the commissioning window and start taking the measurement samples. You can see that the output is 0% because still tank level set point is 0. Now I will increase the set point to 50% and output rise is immediate. This output signal will open the actuator valve for water inlet. We can open the drain wall so that water starts draining and we have a constant flow inside the tank. As you can see that the tank level is increasing and output signal for the actuator is 100% because the actual tank level is still 31% which is much lesser than the 50% set point. We will see the behavior of the PED output signal once the tank level reaches near to the tank level set point. As you can see that once tank level has reached 45%, the PAD output starts to decrease gradually. To make sure that it will reach 50% tank level smoothly. As you can see that the tank level is now above 50% and PID output control signal is decreasing at a faster rate so that to keep the error or difference between set point and actual tank level less or not more than 2 or 3%. Now the tank level is stabilized at 53%. And the PAD output is still decreasing, trying to reduce the error. And eventually, it will make the error zero. As you can see, that the PAD output is still decreasing and trying to bring the tank level at zero. Now the tank level is 49% and the PAD output is gradually increases to bring it back to the 50%. The output curve is also going up again and trying to maintain the tank level. As you can see that the tank level has reached the 50% at power set point and the PAD controller is trying to maintain the 50% tank level. Let's try to increase the water discharge rate by fully opening the drain valve. As you can see that the tank level increases from the 50% level very sharply. And the PID output is also increasing very quickly to make sure that to make sure to reduce the set point and actual tank level error.
as you can see that the tank level again reached 50 percent VAD controller is maintained so this is how you can use the PID compact command in the TIA portal. I hope you like this video. Please share and comment for more video tutorial. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay connected with me. Till next video, take care and goodbye.